The way you organize and arrange elements on your website can have a significant impact on its overall appearance and even its UX. The WordPress spacer blocks is a simple tool that can help you do this more effectively. True to its name, it creates space between blocks, which can make your pages and posts more appealing and easier to read. If you want to add some extra space to your WordPress content, you could start by navigating to any post or page. Next, click on the add block button in the editor, which is marked by a plus icon. There you can search for spacer and select the first option. Alternatively, you could just type slash spacer and enter to do the same exact thing. Once you insert the block, you'll notice a new toolbar along the top. If you're familiar with using WordPress blocks, you'll probably already know that each one comes with its own set of controls that you can use to configure it. The spacer block is no different. In the block toolbar, there are three main options. The transform button lets you convert the block into a group or columns. This icon lets you drag the block around and this one lets you move it up or down. The three dots is the more options, which opens a menu with additional settings. Under this menu, you can copy or duplicate the block. There are also settings for adding the spacer to your reusable blocks, editing its HTML and more. One of the most useful things about the WordPress block editor is that it lets you resize blocks. For example, if you want to adjust the blocks height, you can do so within the right hand menu. And if you don't see it, Go up here to the top right and click on this little cog icon. And there it is, height in pixels. You could either use the slider or just enter a number in manually. Then if you go to the advanced section, you can configure HTML anchors and additional CSS classes. The spacer is one of the easier WordPress blocks to use. I mean, yeah, it doesn't come with an overwhelming amount of settings or configuration options because all it's meant to do is create a space. Remember that the effective use of white space can go a long way in your web design. Additionally, we also suggest that you only use this block when you want to add white space to a specific area on the page instead of adding space between paragraphs. Finally, to ensure that the appearance of your pages remains consistent, you might want to consider using the same height for each spacer block you use. By default, it's set to 100, but you can choose whatever number you would like. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.